My name is James Williams Jr. Welcome to Come Forever number two. I, um, this is more long hard thinking about um, what I want to talk about on Mass Effect. I also wrote this incredibly long list, so we're going to do this video right now. So this is like the second things of what I would like to actually see happen in Andromeda. I would like to be able to have more outfits and to be able to wear them everywhere outside of just your damn ship. Like you could only wear your outfits in the Normandy except for like in game two and three. But in two, you really didn't spend that much time in the Citadel. I'd like to be able to explore the Ark. And I mean like every damn room. And that's some of those rooms that are blocked. It's only for the PC. So that being said, you know, I'd like to be able to have mad wardrobe change. i also like to be able to, to be able to change wardrobes at will. You know, whether your character is a male or a female writer or whatever the hell. You know, I like to be able to change wardrobes at will. I would like to be like, if I'm going this way or, you know, have a little bit more real life into it besides just fighting and exploring and shit, you know. So if you have a, a date, you know, if I'm a female, I like to be able to wear the dresses and hairdos. There were hairdos in Mass Effect 2 that you couldn't get in Mass Effect 3 or 2 or 1 unless you hacked the game and you had a PC. Because the, the game... My, my favorite hairdo was for Fem Shep with the girl at Jacob's Island or whatever, the little deserted planet or whatever. And I wanted that haircut for my Fem Shep so bad and couldn't get it. So I don't want to be restricted on hair. I want to be able to do all the hair for each shepherd, whether it be male or female. I want free range on hair, free range on the world. You know, any world you're in, you should be able to explore every surface, corner, nook and cranny of the world. And that would be the first thing on my list. The second thing that's most important, all right, see, being that I'm part Native American and black, I would like to be able to have more ethnic features, you know, with, if my character is going to be Asian, make their eyes actually Asian. They're going to be black or white or even mixed ethnicities like me, which you didn't get to see. You could change your skin tone and everything, but you don't get to get the full depth of the character's features. So I would like for them to sharpen that up, you know, so that you could be able to you know, look more than what you are. You know, have more ethnic backgrounds and make your character actually have the ethnic accent or, you know, let them... I know we're all going to be human and we're all in space and everything, but, you know, it, make it realistically how people would more likely talk with accents and stuff. All right, my third thing, and I know everybody's going to bitch at me or giggle, or whatever, because you know the character is going to be called Ryder, and you know it's going to be you get to choose your automaton's gender or whatever. But I want these people to be able to call me by my first, middle, and last name. I know you guys aren't even thinking that far ahead, but it would be nice for instead of you know, Ryder, but for them, like if I'm not on duty, to actually call me by my actual name, so you don't have to have a scene like uh, Doctor Chakwas and uh. Shepard's like, well, you know, you never called me by my real name. And neither have you, Commander Shepard. Yeah, I don't want to be called by my rank. I actually want to be able to have my name be said, no matter what of the nine million names in the world. It's not like you guys can't just program it in with the pronunciations correctly and be able to do that. Because I use a lot of Hawaiian names and Native American names in my Shepherds in Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and all you get is Shepard. Which isn't bad, but I don't want to be a dog. I don't want to be a sheep herder, but you know, a writer, you know, rather I be a man or a woman, I don't want to be stuck with Jane or John, I guess in Jane Doe or John Doe. I want to be able to have a name and have them be able to pronounce the name so when I'm not in my gear, because you know, when you're out of your military gear, people actually do call you anything other than sir, unless you're shopping. So if my name is James Ryder, I want the guy to say, how's it going, James Ryder? Or... How's it going, James? At least call me by my first name instead of just keep constantly calling me my damn last name. Hey, if you don't know how to do this, you can take it to 2K16 because they made that happen in the WWE wrestling games. Just saying. You know, because I can put James Williams on there and it will actually say my name. It doesn't have Junior, but you can't beat the whole name. I mean, fuck it. I got my name. My, the middle part would be whatever that I call my character and my last name. So, like James the Hammer Williams, you know, hey, I'm happy with that. So, if they can do it, you at EA can do it too. Just saying. 
Yeah, just my, my suggestions you should probably really take into consideration. The fourth thing. I've mentioned this on the other video, but I'm going to retouch up on it. Because um, other things I would like to see. I would like to know if the GEF had been out there as well. Because I would like to see the GEF. They saved me a couple of times. I would like to see... We already know that there's Krogans and Solarians, but what about Varen and Vorcha and other races as well? Are we going to have all the races from the other games in as well as new species and races and stuff? Because that would be fucking totally awesome, you know. And finally, I want more alcoholics scenes and more sex scenes. I think they should have longer sex scenes than 30 seconds. Yeah, and not with just like the main characters, like whenever you had sex with Yara or Kaden, unless you were Mel Shepard and you had sex with... Uh, Ashley or Liara but either way when you had sex with Liara it was always the long and sexy so yeah I, I'm a pervert alright so sue me but anyway the, you, you can't um, sue me for how I think that the game should go I know it's probably not going to happen nobody is looking at me again I only have 12 followers so thank you guys for watching but you know um, I'm a Mass Effect fan I have beaten the game over 200 times my PlayStation has frozen a few times for how many times I've played the game back to back to back to back. And every time I've played it, I've always discovered something new. So that's why I keep going from one to three without, um, and you know, just in case, because sometimes you miss stuff and sometimes you don't miss stuff. And sometimes you just find things that you're like, okay, well, the last time I played that, that didn't happen. So, you know, that's why I've made so many damn characters. <laughs> and granted, most of my characters have been female because I like having lesbian relationships. So, anyway. In closing, you know, those are some of the things that I would like them to touch on, especially like in the PC, because I've watched the videos right here on YouTube, that you can't do it on PlayStation 3. I've tried to find a way. There's no way in hell you can do it. I want the robot dog, and you can have the Varen as a pet, but it can't leave Tachanka. And then you don't even have any acknowledgement of what the hell happened to it in Game 3. You know, so even though you go back to Tachanka, where the hell is Urs? You know, there's there's no sign of him anywhere. He was like the baddest Varen on the planet. And no sign of him. Even Rex doesn't mention him. Maybe they ate him or something. But anyway, you know, I would like to have more of that. I would also like to touch up on it. Because I was the guy that collected all the fucking fish. And did everything I could to convince Kelly um, to um, take care of my fish. So... I would like to be the first to say that if you're going to have fish and stuff and we're going to take them into the other world, at least have a tank that can feed the damn fish so we don't have to keep doing it. You know, and, and like I said, have more open-mindedness. Have more open worlds where you can just explore everything. And you want to be able to go in every room in the ships, like in the arcs or wherever you are, you want to be able to go into every room. There should be no limit on the places that your character can walk. Even if they do or don't affect the game, they should be like paramount. Because they were placed in the Citadel on the PlayStation 3 that I just couldn't get in. Especially like when you go through like the refugee camp and when you go through the part where the the um the Cerberus attacks and there's that one room with that one gun that I still can't get on the DLC and I can't get in the room to get the gun. It's a badass handgun. But anyway, in closing, I'm Jace Williams Jr. Come for every two. I hope you guys take this into consideration. And anybody who's got any connection to EA, pass these two videos along. Maybe they actually will listen to me. Hell, maybe they'll give me a job. Because I can change my voice. See? I can still act. I just can't do much of the Kung Fu stuff. I'm James Williams Jr. Just come for every two. Be in seeing you.